Wagwan people of today, it's me Shiver Away, and Shindo Life has a lot of game passes, and that might be overwhelming, and actually two new ones coming next update, so I'm going to be telling you guys what you should buy, what you absolutely need to buy, and what you can honestly save your Robux on, but before we get into that, be sure to like the video right now, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, so without further ado, into the video. Forward on my own There's a bright and shining pure light Cutting through the darkness of the night Now I can't help crying for my life In this endless time that I live inside Take a closer look as who you are It's reflected deep inside my Alright, so let's not waste any time here. So the very first game pass we have is the radio. And the radio, it's a fun little game pass. Basically, you get some IDs from the Roblox library, you put it in this little UI, and then your character brings out a golden radio. Basically, it just plays it in the vicinity, and it's decently loud. It's pretty cool. It's all around a good game pass if you just want to troll some people with some funny IDs, or if you just want to play some epic music in the back background of fights but honestly having it or not having it doesn't make too big of a difference in your experience it's really just uh, if you want it it's just a fun game pass that's the same case with the customs now the customs what it does is you can make an ombu mask in photoshop or something there's a template or you can go find an already made one just import your favorite ombu mask and you are able to wear that now these masks are pretty cool but again this is just cosmetic and you don't really get anything tangible from it but if these two game passes are something that you like if you're a guy that's into cosmetics and just having I guess a more immersive experience or something like that then I guess these are the game passes you can go with and they're both pretty cheap so there's really no no reason not to get them if you want them coming in at C tier we have both of the extra element slot game passes now the very first element slot element slot 3 that you can buy extra I can say maybe you might want to get that that's why I have put it above 4 maybe if you use a lot of the new elements especially with the addition of shiver style and combustion which are new elements usually they only add bloodline but new elements are actually being added to the game so I can see these game passes being more worth it now but a fourth element I really just do not see the situation where you'd even need it you you usually don't even have two element moves in your hotbar at any given time so having four elements at once there's really no point and three maybe you'll need that but still that's very very unlikely two is really all you need in the game anyway now that's not to say that there aren't some builds that require three or four but most of them really don't so I for me I know I'd have no use for it especially because a lot of people in the game actually I can't even say a lot I have to say most people in the game just stack their their hotbar with just a bunch of sub jutsus like their loadout is just tons and tons of sub jutsus almost entirely sub jutsus so these element game passes I just really don't see the use of them in the current environment in Shindo life so, coming in at B tier, we have the Dawn Game Pass. Now, this Game Pass actually does a lot. Now, I wish I could put it higher because it really is something good and I can say that a lot of the stuff that this Game Pass gives you is definitely something that I can see a lot of people wanting, but at the same time compared to the Game Passes that are higher up in this tier list that are just must-haves then it's just really no comparison so the dawn game pass you get four dawn robes and you're able to access the dawn base where there's a lot of weapons and other stuff like that that spawn but all of the dawn the spawns and all that they're actually not all of that crazy so you can actually play the game without them and it won't make that much of a difference and again those robes are just cosmetic so i guess if you want to look like a Dawn member, which is basically the Akatsuki, then I, I guess you can get that, but to be honest, it's not too, it it's really not something that's going to ruin your experience with the game. It doesn't do too much. So only 500 Robux, I guess that's a pretty good steal for what you're getting out of the game pass, but it's not required. 
And now we are into A tier. And A tier, these are the must have game passes. These are the game passes that will actually affect your experience in the game. So, probably looking at it right now and you see both of the bloodline slot game passes with our both 300 robux but i have to say that you only really need in my opinion the bloodline slot 3 but bloodline slot 4 is definitely very good and can make you really op with some builds but i think you only really need the third slot simply because you only have three spots to put bloodline moves anyway so it's not gonna make that much of a difference in your gameplay experience however having the fourth slot does have other benefits like being able to spin faster simply because you can spin uh, four slots at once instead of three and four and with that that brings me to a really really good game pass that I think is definitely worth your money and that is the spin story so you know that in Shindo life spins are everything now the devs give a lot of codes and they're generous like that that, but a lot of time people have so many spins that they can't even put in anymore because the cap is 500 but this game pass actually gives you a 1k spins cap and it gives you two times spin rewards and free rewards and it gives you the ability to auto skip the spin animation so basically you're just saving a lot of time and you're gonna be able to hold more spins so this is just convenience just uh, add to the max so i think it's definitely for only 500 robux it's definitely a steal definitely a good game pass and that's why i'm putting it at the top of a tier now people actually don't even understand the importance of being able to skip that spin animation because if you have 500 spins and you're just spinning with only two slots let's say it, it's not gonna be fun it's, it's not gonna be good it's gonna take you a long time so it's a great game pass so coming in at S tier the best game pass is 100% worth your robux is going to be the bloodline bag and the server creator now these game passes in a literal sense are overpowered they are absolutely great and they're pretty cheap too so i think you guys should definitely get them so i'm gonna explain their position on what they do so the one in the lowest in the S tier I have there is Server Creator. Now this is almost a uh, you need oh you almost need Shindo to play this because this Game Pass allows you to create private servers in the game. Now you might be wondering why is that so important? But if you're trying to level up and you don't have a private server, it's impossible. Public servers are so toxic you'll just get killed. And if you're using logs to grind, you can just go AFK because you know that no one's gonna attack you or move you out of your spot. But besides all of that, the most important thing that this will give you access to is you'll be able to refresh a server to get drops or to get a boss to spawn or to get something to like uh, anything to spawn like a weapon or a sub jutsu so if if you're out hunting scrolls having the server creator is basically the only way to do it that's why i see that this is a must have the only reason i don't put it at the top of s tier is simply because if one of your friends has it then it really doesn't matter you basically have it so basically it, you only need one person in your friend group to have it and you'll be good so the next one I have here is the Bloodline Bag, and everyone asks for the Bloodline Bag. They ask for it to get gifted. I constantly get DM'd by people to gift them Bloodline Bag. That is because this is the most important thing in Shindo life. Now, the Bloodline Bag, basically, it means that whatever you spin for, whether it be Bloodline or Element, you, it saves it. So, you can switch it out whenever you want. So, this it really makes having a third or fourth bloodline slot not even that important simply because whenever you want you can just switch out what like any any bloodline that you've unlocked through spinning so it's definitely very important and you have to have this because if not you're essentially wasting your spins you're essentially wasting all the potential things that you could have gotten like let's say that you get an op god spec and then you get another op god spec and you only have two slots to spin then 
Basically what's happening is you're gonna have to spin off one of your OP God Specs and you're just gonna lose it. But with the Bloodline Bag, you'll be able to keep both of them and more. So that's why I think it is the best Game Pass in the entirety of Shindo Life. So guys, if you like this video and you found it helpful, be sure to like it right now and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next one.